Hello! Right, this is literally the third attempt at making this video. Destiny is not on my side. Um, I made it the first time and didn't hit record. And then I was making it and my phone rang, which of course cut off the video function. So, let's see if the third time it works like a charm. Um, it is now 20 past 8, so I've been spending 20 minutes doing this. Um, 20 past 8 on Wednesday, I still can't remember the bloody date, Wednesday the 22nd of January 2013 and I have just come in from work about 20 minutes ago I'm standing by my back door having a cigarette, I still haven't taken my coat off because I came on the way home I was just thinking yeah I've got to make a video and update things and I don't want to go in and I don't want to like binge and eat crap before dinner and also it's now really awkward because my neighbour is in their kitchen which is just opposite over that side where um, they can probably hear everything I'm saying and think I'm crazy because I'm just talking to myself and saying the same thing. <laughs> um, anyhow, I wanted to just fill you in on how my day's gone. Um, I've had a bit of a, a day where I really felt like I was on a diet. I know it's only day two and I'm still really motivated but I'm, I'm not going to lie, <laughs> my day has been filled with thoughts of food, which is kind of alarming how much I was, I've been thinking about food and how preoccupied I've been about it. Um, I do love the irony about these health videos being filmed with a cigarette in my hand. It's, I'll, I will move on to that eventually, we will, we will kick these bloody things to the curb eventually. Um, after I've dropped my phone. Anyway, rambling. <coughs> Smoker's cough. So, the day. I was really good last night and I made my lunch in advance and I took it with me to the office and because I was travelling to the office and I knew we haven't, we leave early um, on the days I work from the office, I also took with me an instant porridge pot from Tesco's, Tesco's own, and it was okay, I mean, I don't like porridge, but I mean, it was bearable. And I, I think it's going to be an acquired skill, because porridge is really good for me, I need to consume it. And basically all you do is boil the kettle, top it up with some hot water, stir it round, leave it for a little bit, and there's, there you go, there's your porridge. So I can't complain that it's inconvenient, or I don't have time, or anything like that. Um, but I'm not very good, as we all know, at eating breakfast. I'm not in the habit of eating breakfast. And today, unfortunately, what happened was I got to the office and I set myself up with my laptop and blah, 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 blah. And I did what I do every day when I'm in the office. And I started work straight away. And I got engrossed in my work. So I ended up not having the porridge until about quarter to twelve, which is not really the idea when you're up at like half five in the morning, is it? That's not really the point but you know the intent was there and I've now nominated two people to be porridge monitors who can just sort of you know throw things at me and go oi eat your porridge <laughs> and remind me because I just I get engrossed in what I'm doing um which is great from an employer's perspective I suppose <laughs> um then what happened so yeah so quarter to twelve I had my pot of porridge and then my lunch was 1.30 till 2.30, was it? 1.30 till 2.30, or 1 till 2. Do you know what, my memory at the minute is ridiculously bad. I think it was 1.30 till 2.30, and I had my lunch anyway around 2, um, because I was trying to actually put a delay in, because obviously I'd eaten the bloody porridge at quarter to 12. So my lunch that I'd made was a tortilla wrap, um, a flour tortilla wrap, with spread with some dairy, a dairy triangle, some spready cheese thing, and I chopped up some mushroom and then made it into kind of like a parcel. Was it an empanata? I can't think of the word, but empanata is jumping out at me. And um, and then I had two bits of broccoli that I had raw with it, which I really like raw broccoli, so that's good. And then I had a banana afterwards as well. I I did take a 
now I've got no battery on my phone, excellent. I also took a slimmer soup with me, which is like golden vegetable flavour and 56 calories, but I didn't have it. Um, that was It was like emergency food in case everything else failed, but I didn't have it while I was at work. And I finished work at half past five, and I entered my house at eight o'clock, and then I faffed about trying to make this video for like the last 25 minutes. Um, but on the way home, I was really struggling. Now, what normally happens when I'm on the way home, and this is embarrassing, and I'm hoping that by admitting this to the internet, to the general public, it will stop me from doing it again. I am coming in because I'm utterly freezing. Um, normally, I will travel home, and I have to change trains at Manchester Piccadilly train station. And I have been known, quite regularly, to go and buy food, consume it, and then come home and cook a full tea. And when I say buy food from the train station, it can range from anything... Like, if I'm feeling particularly naughty, I'll have a secret Burger King. If I'm not, I'll have a sandwich. But you look at those calories and it's like, I'm having two bloody teas. No wonder I'm this fat. I mean, is it any surprise? <laughs> so... It was really worrying me travelling home today because I felt really hungry and I was kind of thinking um, while I was travelling towards the train station, oh yeah, because I can get food. And then I was like, no, I can't get food and I'm not going to get food because that's why I'm like this. But it really actually was quite alarming how preoccupied I was about the, the idea. So what I did was I bargained with myself and instead of getting food I got a skinny latte with gingerbread sugar free gingerbread syrup to have while I was waiting for my connection so that was actually much better I think my husband's just come home now so the video might have to go on hold again um, and, and it was good it was alright hello, hello husband I'm making a video, that's what I'm doing Making a video. Making a video. That's what comes home to me every evening. That's my lovely husband looking ridiculous. Um, so anyway, and my hat, I was looking in another state probably as well. So the point is, I had this coffee and actually it really tidied me over even though it wasn't in my plan. I went for what I deemed to be the lowest calorie option for that type of thing. Um, and it was so beneficial to me because I, I think without that then I would have gone off the rails and eaten. Whereas actually having something warm and probably the sweetness um, it really it really pacified me so I've made it home without having some sort of secret binge so I'm quite proud of myself really about that because that is just I'm such a bad secret eater I really am it's alarming and I'll do another video about that but now I'm gonna cook dinner my oven is preheating we're gonna have a baked potato and um, some fish cakes that need using up and hopefully that will be fine. So baked potato, fish cakes, and then I've got plenty of vegetables, so I'll probably do some sort of stir fry with them maybe. Um, and hopefully I won't go too far over my calories. What I've done, if you're following me on my fitness pal, I've actually reduced my calories, or my goal calories, to 1,000 calories a day. Now, don't freak out people, I'm not planning on eating 1,000 calories a day, but I'm using it as a psychological tool. I really hate going over my calories. I absolutely hate it. it. Everything goes red, it freaks me out, it causes me anxiety. So, when I was had a higher calorie limit, I was allowing myself sort of like a buffer to go over. Um, or I was going over my calories even when I had like 1,500 calories allotted to me. So what I am thinking is if I drop my calories on there to a thousand, by the time it gets to my dinner,
that already takes me over the thousand and puts me in the red. And then my worries about being over my calories sort of kicks in. Um, and I, I don't like being over my calories. So I'm hoping that that psychologically will mean that I w then in the evening, because that's when I really struggle, then I, I won't be tempted to snack and eat things in the evening because I'll be thinking, well, I'm already over my calories. You know, how far over my calories can I go? I can't possibly go much further. So I'm hoping <laughs> that by doing that will actually mean that I'm within the calorie limit um, that means I'll be able to lose weight. So don't panic that I'm limiting to a thousand calories, that's not what I'm doing, it's just a psychological tool, if you like, to try and make me more aware of what I'm eating. So, so that's what's going on. I would like to do some exercise, but I don't think this evening I'm going to get much more exercise into my day. Um, I have had a little bit of a walk today, but I might do some stair climbing, which I did last night. I might might do sort of 15 minutes of going up and down the bottom step of my stairs because I think that's that's quite good, and I'm trying to keep active. I was going to go for a swim. That's not going to happen because it's already half past eight. So I think probably uh, I'm going to make a couple of more videos. Um, if I've got the time, I'll make some videos for you. I have a couple of things up my sleeve that I'm planning to do. So unless my husband has plans for me this evening, which I doubt very much he will, um, that's what you can expect. I'm really getting back into my pagan ways and I, I really want to share that with you as well. Obviously, um, the weight loss thing is something that I'm doing, but at the end of the day, this channel was really set up to share all different aspects of my life. Um, and I'm really getting back into my spirituality, so I'm hoping to get some spirituality videos up, which will be exciting, because I really haven't made any proper pagan videos in forever, it feels like. So, anyway, I've witted on for long enough. It's been like 30 minutes now since I started trying to make this video. Um, so that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to go away, I'm going to make my dinner, I'm going to eat my dinner, and then I'm going to make videos for you guys, and you are going to help me not nibble in the evening so uh, thanks for watching again thanks for all your support um, thanks to White Eyes um, she left a comment saying that she'd made me a video response and I don't have internet on my phone at work and obviously I can't go on YouTube at work so I haven't seen it yet but and I haven't had a chance to re respond but thank you so much that's really sweet and very supportive and that's why I love this community on YouTube. You guys, you really supportive. That's and I, I really I can't get over how supportive you've all been of me recently. Obviously, it's just been up and down, up and down and I'm really grateful. I am really grateful. I've got some true friends that I wouldn't have met and without YouTube. So yay. <laughs> okay, anyway, I'm going to go because I'm just wittering now. So have a lovely evening, bright blessings to you all, and uh, I'll see you in the next video, which will be just in a minute, I imagine. <laughs>